Okay, this is practice problems part one. And I sent you copies of this so you have all the answers. I'm just going to go over the important parts. And, you know, starting off, just always remember to clear your calculator a couple different ways. Second FV to clear the time value of money keys. And then second CE slash C to clear all your other work. Just make sure you do that. Okay, I'll read the problems. <clears throat> the answers will show up on the screen and we'll just go over the parts real quick. Um, it's pretty simple on the first one. You can read the problem yourself. You know, 30 is the number of years. The uh, present value is 2,000. There's no payments on this. And then the uh, the future value <clears throat> is 25,814. Um, remember, with present value, on a lot of these problems, you're going to want the important part of this is you're going to want to make that present value negative in a lot of these. Otherwise, you get an error five. If you ever see an error five, you know that you probably got to change your value present value to a negative number. You can compute the IY in this problem, and it's 8.9%. Okay, number two, again, it's nothing really complex about it, except <clears throat> that they're talking about simple interest. And you just got to remember, when you talk about simple interest, simple interest is just computed on the principal. It's not reinvested or compounded. So in this case, it was simple interest on seven hundred dollars at three percent so it's just seven hundred dollars times three percent every year and in this case it's over four years and they were just asking you how much interest she earned so remember it's not compounded it's not reinvested so it's not you get twenty one dollars the first year and then you get three percent interest on that twenty one dollars on top of your seven hundred it's just simple interest is based on the original principal multiplied times the interest rate and then the times the number of years. Problem number three, um, there's nothing really uh, complicated about that one at all. It just you have to figure back to figure out what the lump sum you would need which is the present value amount uh, and so that's all you really need to figure out on this thing and just the number of years you know and it was 33 years in this case, 55 minus 22. Problem number four, um, what you basically had to do was calculate the, um, the different interest that was earned on each account. They were asking for the interest difference, which one got more interest. And is this the one that had to do with uh oh and it just it's compounded annually and uh, it's just pretty straightforward there are no real notes that i had with this one problem number five you just found your dream car the car will cost you thirty six thousand eight hundred bucks so that's your present value and i didn't make it negative here but that should be a negative thirty six thousand eight hundred dollars and then you just compute the payments okay number six okay now I'll read this problem and we'll go over because this is a function on your calculator and it really helps you out problem number six it says Alice Bank is offering you a credit card with uh, annual percentage rate of 14%, 14.7%. So remember that annual means, uh, for instance, if you wanted to get what that was on a monthly basis, it's just 14.7 divided by 2. There's no compounding with annual. If you had it on a monthly basis, it would be whatever 14.7 divided by 12 is, and then you just multiply times 12 again. Let's see, 14.7 divided by 12 is 1.225%. So, for instance, if you wanted, if they told you it was 1.225% per month, what's the annual percentage rate? You would just multiply it times 12. Okay. In this case, you want the effective annual rate, which is really a compounding rate. But there's a nice feature on your calculator where you can go through and use your calculator to figure that out. And so, for instance, you clear everything first. Make sure you clear it. Let's just do this right here. Uh, 
Okay, so we had second, then CE. Okay, and then so we'll, we're going to use an interest conversion. I C O N V. So second, and then here you can see it right above the two, the I C O N V, interest conversion. Okay. So they're asking, uh, that they have, this one for some reason it stores these and you can't clear them. So it's asking you for your nominal rate. It should say zero, <laughs> but it doesn't. And I don't know what, there it goes. Okay. So we cleared it. Okay, so it says enter enter your rate. So you can actually hit second CE once you get the second I con interest conversion, then hit second CE. It's kind of like hitting second CF to get the cash flows, and then hit second CE and that clears it. Okay, the, all your cash flows. Okay, so they're telling you that you have a 14.7% annual percentage rate. So that's the nominal rate. They're saying the nominal rate. So the nominal rate would be 14.7. That's what you want to convert. Okay, and then you got to hit enter again. Uh, hit enter just like with some of the other stuff. Okay, and then you hit the down arrow twice. That'll tell you the EAR. It says EFF, uh, some type of rate, but it's e actually the f effective annual rate, EAR. But you, you don't, you have to convert something to that first. I mean, you got to convert the other number. So they're asking you what interest rate you're trying to convert, and it always says 12 right off the bat. But you can always clear that second CE, and it clears that. Now that's back to nominal. I screwed up. Okay, so we'll put nominal in at 14.7. Enter. Go down to CY. Oh, that is periods. Okay. So 12. Enter. And then we hit the up arrow. And this says EFF, but it, that means EAR, effective annual rate. Okay, so now we're up to that. It's got zero in there, so we want to compute it. So 15.73 would be your EAR, effective annual rate, or EFF in this thing. Okay, so you can hit second, clear, and that clears all the stuff. But for some reason, I think it defaults to 12 for the periods per year. So you could probably change that, but no need to in this case. So that's how you go through and calculate. You change something from an annual percentage rate to a um, effective annual rate. Okay. And that's the first six problems. I'll do the next ones on the next video.